This program is brought to you by Bail G Productions in association with JM Empire Media, a broadcasting and media production company. For more information, visit our website at jmempiremedia.com. Shake em Up Podcast, the hottest show out there, blazing the streets every single week on all streaming platforms, is presented by our wonderful friends at the Waffle Box, home of the best rotisserie chicken and waffles in this city. That's right, at 1682 Flatbush Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11210. They got it all, from chicken, waffles, and ice cream. Come on in and taste the drip at the Waffle Box today. All units, we have an officer in need of assistance. In it's your motherfucking boy, Shakespeare Rock IT, and you are watching and listening to the Shake Them Up podcast. Riding that side, so my nigga should take that. I don't let me front, nigga, I just stay back. Pay back, who? I'm gonna say sad. Chill, slide like a Maybach. Cool, front, the nigga switch. Tell me shit, stop this. They look at the lip, I'll set the slip. But they ain't enough to stay rich. That ain't it, my boy. It's your motherfucking boy, Shakespeare Rock IT. And you're watching and listening to the Shake Up Podcast. On my left, I got. You already know it's Queen Wine building the hood. <laughs> The hood, Diane Ross. You get them. Mm-hmm. On my right, the sensational, the number one belly dancer in New York City. Her name is Laura. Ooh, yes. You guys see the chakras? I see the chakras already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, oh, listen, I got a wonderful hot guest. You are booming. Cheer. They know in the building. Where you at? Who's yeah. in the house? Who's in the building? Come on, they know in the green. You know what I'm saying? Out of Brownsville, Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? That's Take right. The trenches. Yes, you know sir. Right? For sure. Who's gonna have my man? Red Gino. That's right, my G Red Gino. It's your boy Red Gino, man. President. I'm saying that lifestyle manager. Lifestyle manager, yes. Yeah, Big sir. LLE, man. We going up. Tell me how many artists you got in the um on the team over there? Shit, man. All together, we probably got like 10 all together. Ooh, 10, right? Ooh, so, yeah. Good product. So, yeah, are there any videos coming out? Any new videos? Yeah, yeah. Any, what's out right now? Right now, the newest videos out is acting out. Mm-hmm. Ammo. Okay. Me. And me and my man is early. He's supposed to be here today. We couldn't make it in okay. certain situation and everything like that. Shout me and that. early, shout out to early for sure. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's called redemption. You know what I'm saying? It's out doing good numbers right now. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Good, good, good. So, um, tell me, any new projects? Uh, what, what you working on right now? What's what's blazing the streets right now, my guy? What's right hot? now? Yeah, what's, what's your records on your, your menu? We working on a mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like that. Yes. The, the title of this mixtape, you know what I'm saying, is real exclusive. I don't want to put it out there yet because it ain't copyrighted yet. Now, like, I don't want to buy a tape. It's done, though. How many songs is on there? Oh, it's going to be about, like, a good 12, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it moderate, you know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. So, so what's, your, um, what's, your, what's your favorite song on there to, to spit the game, to get ready for niggas? Right now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? My favorite ones is... In God's name mm-hmm. and Halloween. Ooh, Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Halloween. Jared, I don't know. Um, you hear that track yet? I, I, need to to listen. Listen. I was on the stage yeah. and I heard some music and I was like, yo, on some real, on some real G shit, like, um, it's a different sound. Right. And I like that because mm-hmm. I like different. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's so many people trying to sound like different vibes. everybody else. You know what I mean? And um, it's just refreshing for hip hop to have somebody with. Just like their own distinctive style, it's right. just, it stands out. And if you notice, like the people with those distinctive voices and styles, kind of stand out like a sore thumb. They don't kind of like fit in. That's so a- that's what makes it really dope and good. And he's really saying something. Yeah. Like that's different if you like got a new sound. And it's like you know, I'm saying nothing. But right. to have this new sound entering the game right now, and you saying something, and you from Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm all on it. I'm like, let's do this. Let's push this. How we yeah. how, how this is going? How we doing this? Like, what up, Reggie? You know how we doing this? You know, you know, we doing this. We doing this, man. We going up. Ah. 
love it. I love it. Rex, tell me, um, I want to say shout out to, I want to say, uh, big wrestling Christian Nipsey Hustle. Yes, yeah, uh, Pop Smoke. For sure. King Von. Sure. Mm-hmm. And three. And I'm sure. And I think the list goes on. Even you be, we be. Yeah. Rest in peace, all these guys, right? It's like, all what's all the what's going on right now, though? Let's talk about it. Yeah, I want to ask you a question as an artist, because it seems like as soon as these artists, you know, get to a certain plateau, they start their name starts ringing bells, they start making certain money. It's like they become a target, and it's like, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, we're not trying to. Nah, we trying to live. So, see, I can't floss my money. I can't floss my money on social media. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't floss my money. I just got that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know. I, do you feel like there's like a kind of like, it's like a, a like a dark cloud right now over hip hop, like for the artists, like, damn, do I really want to get that limelight? Will I be like a target if that happens? Mm-hmm. And if you feel like that, what would you do to kind of like switch that feeling up? What, what would make you feel comfortable right now in hip-hop knowing that you could sell millions and millions of albums without being a target? Well, to be all honest with you, I'm going to just keep on doing what I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I live right. a certain type of way and everything like that. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from the trenches, so right. like, I'm used to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to people being envious of things that right. you have. You know what I'm saying? Everything like that. So, what I would do is just move how I move, but Move more strategic and tactical. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just to avoid it. I know there's going to be people out there that's going to be envious of what I got, you know, right. hating and everything like that. So just try to avoid it. Because that dude, there's that dude in the hood waiting for somebody to slip up and put that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. we can't be stuck on social media. Because mm-hmm. we're like, what well, we got. It's all about hard work and coming mm-hmm. together and make that back. But see, that's, but you should be able to do whatever you want, like, and how you want. I yeah. feel like the next man shouldn't be envious because he see you. <laughs> progressing in life. Like, if I could do it, you could do it. You feel mm-hmm. me? Right. It's, if you took that same energy right. and actually, you know, looked into see what kind of um, gifts you got to contribute to I'm gonna, the world. I'm going to ask you, how can I get the money with you? I mean, maybe right. you could make it with me, but it, the energy got to be there. Like, I'm not trying... Every money ain't... All money ain't good money. Like, I don't want to make money with everybody, bro. Like, it's an energy thing. Money's mm-hmm. an energy. People carry energy. So I'm all about the ambiance and the energy of a person. You feel me? Like, if yeah, if, I, my, if my spirit don't move with you, I'm not moving with you. I don't got to tell you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you feel that? You, you agree? Yes, I agree. Uh, can you tell me how important is the message that you spread? Because I think it's a very big responsibility. Uh people to hear what you gotta say where do you take your inspiration and how you see this message how valuable this message is that you are gonna transport into the world and to different generations mm-hmm. well so rebuttal on what Mika was saying is the fact that like if I'm doing it you could do it too like you know what I'm saying I'm trying to give hope to people out there that need that type of hope you know what I'm saying that need that inspiration to see somebody yeah. going through the same struggles they went through went through like the same obstacles they had in their way you know what I'm saying overcome that you know what I'm saying become a success story that's my that's my message you know what I'm saying everything like that you know what I'm saying don't don't dream for success right. work for it work right. for it that's a fact once again, guys, I want to let you guys know this show is brought to you by the wonderful Waffle Box. Yes. That has the, one of the best waffles in Brooklyn. It's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you're forgetting. You're forgetting they got the ill shakes and all that. You know what I'm saying? They got the shakes. They got the shakes. They got the, shakes, they got the waffles. They got some good jam in them, man. The eggs in there. They got the blue. They got blue waffles. Ice cream. But not the blue oh, waffles, but like the, the blue waffles. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's on 1682 Flatbush Avenue, right yeah. on by the junction. Mm-hmm. You can bring your girl there, get delicious waffles. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Check them out on 1682 Flatbush Avenue, the waffle box. Thank you. Yeah, but you can't forget about the other box because then you got the seafood box. Listen, I'm in love with all the boxes. <laughs> Don't the box, man, okay? I'm, I'm gonna show my box. Man. You got the juicy box. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got the yeah, juicy box. Yeah, that's all good boxes. We're gonna talk about. Them. I mean, I don't deal with boxes. I just own a box. Oh, I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. See you boxes. Watch box. Thank you. What are your box? And it will grow. No. So, um, <laughs> what, Dave, tell me, what's the game plan? Um, this rap girl, this rap game. What, what's the game plan for you? Are you if you're trying to get empire, are you gonna be in a team with you? Are you um, what's the end game? The end game. To be honest with you, is generational wealth. You know what I'm saying? My that's, that's a fact. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's the end game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
this is what I'm doing right now to other businesses, other yeah. ventures, and everything like that. And definitely support and put on people that I came up with, you know what I'm saying, everything like that. Like this man y'all see right here, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be there with me at the end, you know what I'm saying? Because he was here from the beginning. That's how I'm moving, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's right, bro. That's, that's right. right. Look to other brothers. I mean, what you want to say? I wanted to ask Regina, like, um, what did you see in this particular artist Ooh. that made you say, you know what, I want to I wanna take you on, I want to work with you, I want to put you in the mix of what I got going on? Nah, it was first, you know what I'm saying? My boy got talent, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He, he nice and shit. That's what's up. Spitting that fire. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's been that fine on it. Plus, you know, I knew him before I was, like we started doing this management shit. Mm-hmm. That was my boy already, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So like it, we already had that, that vibe and the energy and all that. But like I said, like he nice, he be spinning that shit, you know what I'm saying? He loyal, he on time, like he got he got he got what, the, what it takes to be an artist, you know what I'm saying? Right. Period. Like okay. package, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he know, be working. People just co sign. Like, you know, because it's big man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some people ain't honest yeah. with their people. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to know. No, nah, that's dope because all of that, that's thats the things that you want for artist consistency. You want to see that that artist really want it yeah. as bad as you right. want it for the artist as well. Right. Like, I can't want it more than you want it. So, when mm-hmm. I see you really want it how I want it, then, you know, it's its a go. And like, like right. me, like, I, you know, I'm a manager, but I, I also, I'm a president of a, a little lifestyle entertainment that's right. a record label. So, you know, I got a lot of movements, like, I be moving different than a lot of other managers, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I got plugs, my plugs, you know what I'm saying? The in the industry, like, right. so, yeah, like, that's a fact. So, like, I be taking that shit serious, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't be playing with this shit. So, I don't just snatch up anybody. I don't care if you're family or not. Like, you got to really have what to take. I got to know you low. I got to know you ready to work. And, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you really about this, because... Yeah, let them know so, what the people that's trying to get with you. Yeah, exactly. Let us know. Nah, a lot of people you know, they want me to manage around my inbox is flooded. You know, uh, yeah, I, I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Being lit up, like what's good up there? Yeah, yeah, because I mean they see your artist is doing what he's doing, so they like, yeah. ooh, well, he's doing that with work him. Like, you know, you got a whole I, team. I would like to be a part of that. And we got the lit lifestyle, you know, we out right. in New York, we in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. And as you know, my, me and my cousin got the regular label, Mr. Okay. Lit. Shout out to my cousin, Mr. Lit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, Shout out to Mr. Lit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Black, but I got a big, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's the CEO. You know what I'm saying? I'm the president. That's we making sad. things day out there in Maine, out of state. So they turning them out, up, turning about there. We out here, but we come together. We be out there. We over here. We do shows. Maybe we in New Hampshire, ball, whatever. Like okay. we just turning up. You know what I'm saying, making movies. So, so how have you found ways as an artist? Because I know um, right now people are finding different ways to get creative because of COVID. And um, you know you might not be able to perform in front of as many people as you would be able to perform mm-hmm. in front of. Are you um, doing any of the um, the virtual um, things? Right now, as far as like um, virtual choice. virtual performances, I haven't got the opportunity to do that yet. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If one comes about, you know what I'm saying? I'll definitely jump on that and everything. Like All right, I think I might have something for you going on. I have a toy cool. drive happening. Yeah. Um, December twentieth, I'm doing a comedy toy drive. You know? Okay. And it's it's not only about toys; it's about clothes, but it's about togetherness as well. And it's so I'm gonna give back. Um, this is my first annual give back. So um, I found a couple of local shelters in the area that I'm going to be donating clothes and toys and stuff like that, too. So um, I know because of COVID, we only can have like a certain amount of people under the roof. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing a big Zoom party and mm-hmm. people are actually going to be paying to see what I got going on in this Zoom party. It's the only way. So it'll be your first digital performance ah, if you want to perform. Yeah, it's it's not, no, but it- and you know it's for the kids and it's for families that was affected by COVID mm-hmm. and you know just affected period right now is a, the season of giving and a lot of families are not able to give probably how they were last year or whatever the case is and kids don't understand that you know mm-hmm. what I mean you so um, you know this is for the kids and the other day I had um this guy he owns like a construction company he actually donated like five bags of brand new coats Wow. And these are name brand coats. It was like Zara for kids. Ooh, I'm like, ooh. Why are you putting on work? Honey, shrink, shrink me like a kid. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> these kids got the drip in these bags, but that's mm-hmm. good. I, I, you know, I'm really um, excited about that. Well, you know? So, oh my God, I'm excited too. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna my kids over the city. Yeah, bring them. Go through the bags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put a little chicks, but I don't mind. Where do you go? That's right. Nah, they don't love the kids. You know what I'm saying? So, 
I got that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got that. So I'll send you the information. Get that. Um, you know, listen, you got to put us in the next video. You got to shake them up, podcast. When is the next video? What do you mean? We do a video. No, I'm saying we do a video. But see, we, this next one we want to do is um, in God's name. In God's name. We're going to go to back out of town for team. We're going to do that one. I'm going to be viral fire. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That one's going to be viral. That one's going to be fire. You know what I'm saying? God's name. Yeah, so no. it's, a di- it's a different type of vibe. You know I want to saying? shout out all the um, you know, celebs that's hit me up in the DM and all that too. <laughs> Seeing my own work, I'm saying Fat Joe, DMX, Cassidy, Cassidy, everybody. Yeah, it's a fact. Shout out to all of them. Fact, I send them a little work. You know, they they hit back and reply back like, "Yo, I see you working." Yo, I'm saying they go through your pay. You know, like you see it. Like we about to do a couple things. Soon, with them, a couple people. I'm saying like got some sneaky things coming. I'm saying yeah, ready. That's how you gotta do it, though. You know, everything is not, you know, to be told all the time. Sometimes yeah, you just gotta right. show proof. Yeah, right. But fellas, before we go, let us know what, what is your message to tell the kids. Like, um, what what the, what's what's your recipe? What what's your ingredient? To be, um, to give the kids like you know coming up with game that's following you. They want to be like, hey, you know what, they I see the last two videos. I think I want to do the same thing with them. Mm-hmm. What, what's that about? You want to give that that young kid? That young kid is. Don't try to be like me. Be better than me because you don't know what I did. I just go through to get what I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. And also, you know what I'm saying? Just stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're not putting out a video or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? You're not releasing a song. Make sure you're out there writing a song every day. Every day, write a song. You know what I'm saying? For sure. That's a fact. You got to stay in your craft. You got to keep writing. Yeah. Right? For example, Rest in Peace to King Von. They told me you got three albums already yeah. that he didn't put out yet. Mm-hmm. So that means he's a real artist. Yeah. He's working on his craft. He's putting work, putting work. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I always bring him because you know he's a hard worker. Anything else you want to say? To you? Um, I want to know if you have like a, a nice um sixteenth for us right now, or maybe a, a eight bar sham sham sham. I mean, you know, I mean, listen, I ain't trying to put you oh, on the spot, the spot. But when I was rapping, I was always put on the spot, and I didn't like it. But I knew it came with like, it came with being insane, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, so, uh, I made it to get me the green light. You know what I'm saying? Be- well, we got beats. We got beats. What we got? We can put on the beat. You know how to work this thing? I'm like, <laughs> we need a beat, you know? I might well, we throw a freestyle. Well, we can put a beat up on here. We can put a beat up on here. Okay, we can get an instrument to go. I'm about to get an instrument. What would you like? What type okay, of instrument do you like? I might even throw a freestyle. Throw one like some... Some, 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 some something like drill. Drill. Yeah, like drill. Yeah, like drill. Want a drill beat? Drill beat. UK drill beat. UK drill beat. Okay, so let's go for UK drill beat. And I don't even know if you have new options. I don't even think they had UK drill beats when I was running. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Ten years working one for the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bitch, I'm talking about plenty more open space. Mm-hmm. Stay blind, gang mm-hmm. rules. Away in that state, yo. Put a couple of start me to stay swarm. Put the gang cut hands like State Farm. Put the gang shit down like State Slime. One kid from Black and Splatters. Usual lag is still true. They sign. Let's talk about the rest of the ops. Niggas pussy they ain't talking to tops. Yeah, I'm getting out of the bullshit like cops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Niggas be ass. I know this man got him mad, big mm-hmm. mad. I brought the work out in the gym class. Would have whipped the liquor to 10 sacks. Mm-hmm. Then he up. I was in route. Never seen a drop when he big mad. Had to be in the house. She had no couch. But I was in the mouth with the big bag. Mm-hmm. Niggas, that niggas, what he bodies. They become a body. Never cool the body. You know you never saw a body. You never took the ball down. Mm-hmm. I was raised by the grummy and slimy. My niggas ain't beside me. My niggas was hung. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, You are listening to Shake Em Up Podcast, Blazing the Streets, available now on all streaming platforms. Listen in, tune in, you know the vibe.